Greetings, warriors. My name's Pretty, and welcome to a resplendent review. That's a little late. <laughs> Um, I had obligations this week, so I wasn't really able to record too much, but hey, I'm here. Um, I'm not going to make a video on the calendar because the calendar makes me sad. <laughs> um, if you haven't, if you're not in my Discord, you don't know why it makes me sad. Uh, Azura's banner isn't coming back until the 2nd of October, and that makes me sad. <laughs> I, I want it back sooner, please, but hey. It's all good, so expect probably, uh, you know, a live stream around then. And then, um, I'm sorry, I do sound congested. I, I'm getting over a cold, <laughs> which is fun. So, resplendent review. Mm. Before I dive too deep into this, I want to just go over my usual stuff. So, I'm going to talk about the character design and how well it fits into the new world. Two, I'm gonna talk about the personality and how well it fits into, you know, established tropes for that world. And three, I'm gonna finish up with my thoughts. But for this one, my thoughts are gonna be littered everywhere. So, <laughs> let's dive into Soth, shall we? <laughs> Looking at him, what do you think? Where do you think he, he belongs now? Just think about it. Think of a time when you just saw this, you didn't know where he was from, He's from Nidavellir. How? You might ask. Well, let's talk about that, shall we? <laughs> Next to me is this nice little uh, chart that I've made of the design aesthetic for Nidavellir. From the um, established characters from Heroes. Um, now, with Nidavellir, we have had two resplendents before Soth. And both of them did not fit into this guideline, so I want to give that warning because I don't think Faye w knows what they want to do with Nidavellir. Like, mm -hmm. we're, we're talking about Soph, we're talking about Soph. <laughs> but, first things with Soph, his metal color has changed. It's not that nice um, bronze metal anymore, it's, it's like brown. I don't know off the top of my head of metal that looks like brown, but here it is. There's no symbol of gears anywhere on him. I mean, I guess maybe in his dagger. Yeah, the, 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 the tiniest bit in his dagger. The tiniest bit. Um, he has a lot more colors going on than uh, shown in Nidavellir colors. Um, at least, I mean, his scarf can be considered a cape could be considered a cape, but he's not wearing the bodysuit armor. He's not wearing it. I know it's his shirt and he got like sleeves for it, but it's not covering his entire body. And I know his original design doesn't have that, but it's a mid layer design. Come on. <laughs> I just, he's got baggy pants, mid layer characters, at least the Fire Emblem Heroes ones don't have baggy pants. He's got tall metal boots. You don't have that. They just, there is no way I can look at him and be like, yes, he belongs in Nidavellir, the land of gears and the little horse thingies that they have, and I, I don't know how to say them, but he just does not fit at all. Like, flat out, like, I hate Nidavellir resplendents. I'm sorry, it's, it's official now. I hate them because they just don't know what they want to do with them and they don't have a consistent line. Like, if you look at all of the Moose Bell um, respondents, you could be like, yeah, I can kind of see that they are all from the same place. If you throw all of the Nidavellir uh, respondents with the uh, Nidavellir OCs, you're just like, there's something wrong there. There's, there, there's not a connection there. and. It bothers me to my core. I'm sorry if you really enjoyed Nidavellir Resplendents, that's great. But just, I, I can't, I don't like them. <laughs> um, I think I've kind of just gone on a tangent, but for so, I have to give it a zero out of 10 because there is literally just, 
it does not fit with Nidaflir at all. As in terms of just an artistic design, I think it's very nice. Not my personal favorite. I'm. He feels very modern fashion with metal thrown on him. And you know, I, I, I know Niffle and Moosebell kind of have modern fashion, but I'm getting to them in another video, I promise. But I just, he, they could have done so much better with his design overall, and I'm just disappointed. I just wish that he wasn't Nid of Lear, honestly. I think he would have been a lot better if we just, you know, put the Nid of Lear idea in the trash and tried somewhere else. Oh boy, this video is going to get a lot of dislikes. I'm sorry, <laughs> but I'm not sorry. All right, let's talk about his personality. Now, before I dive in on this, there will be spoilers. There, you know, um, I will have a time code. Goodness, my voice is going now. Um, I will have a time code for, um, you know, non-spoiler stuff. Let's just dive on in. Soth shares a protective close and brother-sister type friendship with Micaiah. Due to his childhood life with Micaiah, he has an unshakable faith in her, even to the point where he can be a bit of Micaiah's boss. Though that could be due to her leading the army or due to their childhood friendship because she looked after him when he was little. He has a bit of a rivalry with the Black Knight, who has come to protect Micaiah, much to Soth's annoyance. Much to the annoyance of Micaiah, he also gained a slightly more than healthy admiration for Ike from serving under him in the Mad King's War. Aggravating Micaiah to such a point refers to Ike as the father of Soth's children. Soth's overall personality is very calm. According to an info conversation with Micaiah, it seems that Soth does not smile much. Well, that was insightful. I, I can't really rate him on personality and how well it fits into Nid of Lear because I just don't know what what makes people fit into the Nid of Lear world. Maybe it's like a sense of duty because Brave Ike has a sense of duty. I don't know about Merrick. I, I literally know nothing about him. I just, I don't know. It's kind of just a giant question mark. <laughs> I feel like they're throwing characters into Nid of Lear because it's the new world! Might as well show off the new book and stuff, but... I don't know, do you guys have any theories? If you know the characters more than I do, let me know. Try to keep it as spoiler-free spoiler as possible in the comments, because I am currently playing through Soth's game. So I don't want to, like, hear anything about him dying in the middle of something. I just kind of keep it spoiler-free for me, if you have a theory. Um. But I, I, I don't know, I'll give him a question mark out of 10 for the personality because I can't apply it, you know? And finally, my thoughts. Um, I think I kind of made it clear I, I, that I don't like this. <laughs> I don't like this at all. Like, the art, qua art quality, like, is good. I don't think it's a significant upgrade from what he had originally. I think it's great that we're finally getting daggers being resplendent. Um, I just... So here's the story about him. I woke up really like in the middle of the night because I, I was coughing and I was like, okay, I just need to soak out a cough drop, get to bed. And I realized, oh, hey, it's time for the resplendent. Let's take a look at this. And I pulled up my phone and I looked at it. And I looked at it and I was like, are my eyes seeing it properly? Because one, I don't know where you're from, <laughs> just from glancing, and two, this is an outfit. It's an outfit that I'm not the biggest fan of, but uh, we're, we're here. And I, as I was finishing that cough drop, I was like, man, this video I'm going to be making, it's going to be kind of rough and kind of salty, so I'm, I'm glad I had a little bit of time to sit on it, because it, I can't imagine how worse that video would have been if I recorded it that day, um, but I just don't like it. I'm happy he's got a resplendent. If you're a fan of him, I'm I'm super super excited. But I just this is a resplendent I will be turning off because I do use Fay Pass. I just I don't I don't like it. <laughs> 
I'm just gonna cut myself off here because I've gone on way too many tangents. What do you think of Soth? Do you like him? Do you, are you gonna use him? Are you gonna buy Fate Pass for him? Let me know. Do you like this cold voice pretty? Because I don't. <laughs> I miss my normal voice. Please come back. It's been very long. I want it back. So, yeah. Um, more videos will start coming back um, because I, you know, my obligations are all done. And yeah. So, thank you guys so much for watching and subscribing. Keep fighting your battles. And I will see you next time. Toodaloo!